Welcome to Vietnam, guys. You're gonna love it. What? Let's join Ruben Lenton on an exclusive behind the scenes look at the ozone factory in Vietnam. Parapex is ozone's exclusive factory. It's where all of the foil kites, tube kites, wings, twin tips, hydrofoils, paragliders, paramotor wings, and accessories are made, as well as the ever impressive wingsuits designed by Squirrel. Known as Parapex, the factory was originally established by David Pilkington and his colleagues in 2000 to produce ozone paragliders after they'd grown frustrated by capacity limitations in China. Ozone started as a group of pilots with an idea to build wings that just do everything better. They searched for more safety alongside better handling, lighter turning and faster glide speeds, as well as more comfort in flight. Ozone's research and development teams work in constant and close cooperation with their colleagues in the factory's prototyping departments. Developing the production methods that will allow new and innovative designs to be realized is a true collaboration. The gear that's rolled out of Parapex since 2000 has helped pilots and riders set records, win world titles, reach new heights, venture further into the unknown, and allow all of us to enjoy truly sensational experiences in nature. Despite starting with only 20 sewing machinists in a single room, almost 25 years later, the operation has grown to employ 1,000 full-time workers across nine factory units, an area equivalent to almost two football pitches. Intricate, handcrafted techniques are combined with the latest technology. David Pilkington is still involved. But this carefully coordinated operation is guided with precision day to day by factory manager Han Enguen. The first time that I was on the ball and, you know, ride it, even the Darwin, the, the feeling is so good. Oh my, I can't, I can't forget that. So here we are. I'm just heading into the first building of the Ozone Factory. And excited I am. Better take my shoes off. Inside the first building, you'll find the accounts team, Han's office, and the quality control areas for all materials that will be used in production. Literally all items and every single inch of material gets very carefully checked over for any imperfections on arrival. Wherever possible, raw materials are sourced from right here in Vietnam. And it's not only in production where excellence is achieved. They have a pretty awesome football team too. We are the best. So when they, when they had the competition, they don't want to invite us anymore. They hired, they play someone else. So <laughs> in total, we have like 34 team leaders in nine factories. People is very, very important. Their skill, their ability is super important for us. Despite all the integrated tech, sewing is still by far the most key skill here. And there are 888 sewing machines across all nine factories, with more installations on the way. Progressing as a skilled sewer is just one example of how workers are regularly offered progressional pathways to advance through the factory. Han himself is a great example having started his career as a helper on the factory floor before studying and progressing to eventually become the factory manager. In the beginning, new starters go through a three-month training program before being placed in production groups. It can then take more than a year to become skilled enough for some of the most difficult sewing tasks. <coughs> Here's another fact for you. The ozone factory gets through 66,000 needles a year, which is 3.6 kilometers, or four and a half times the height of the Burj Khalifa. Meanwhile, 75,000 kilometers of thread is used on all tube and foil kites and wings per year. Lay all of that out and you'd have enough to go almost twice round the world's circumference. 
Welcome to one of the most important rooms in Parapex. This is the prototyping department. Oh, wicked. So what does a process like that look like? Well, our design team are connected directly to everybody in this room, uh, from kites, boards, wings, paragliders. They send in their designs. We see if we can make them. The production sees if they can actually manufacture these products. And then the designs are sent back to the designers for testing. Amazing. A lot of trial and error? or Lots of trial and error. We can have you know, 50 to 100 prototypes depending on the model. And sometimes they nail it on the first go and that's what makes you know, everybody's happy. <laughs> uh, but sometimes it takes a long time to develop. And that is not just the um, design, but it's the production method as well for, those, for all the products. If it can be made. That's if, it ca if it can be made, they will make it happen. I think the, the way we do things here um, is quite different than the way it's done in our factory. We are not only designing products, we, we are designing a product and then we are designing the manufacturing process to, to manufacture these products. You give them a process and then they, they perfect it, pretty much. It makes the turnover on the product design like fast, like really fast. It's not only the design, you know, it can be the production technique. Like, if you, if you want to reach this crazy speed and upwind performance, you need the tolerances on your, on your wings, on your mast, uh, perfect. So that's going to push you perfecting the, the molding technique to, a, we are talking 0.2 of a millimeter. It's not really a race against someone, it's just a race to get the best performance. And we, we have way more freedom um, with Parapex than working with any other factory. Owning the whole production process allows for total flexibility and freedom. And without the constraints of rigid manufacturing limits, Ozone produce many custom kites for industry partners and anyone who wants to order one, while the board factory also takes custom orders from both the public and pros. Here's the board factory and uh, I will introduce you on the operation to make the board. Also, I would like to show you your board. Wow! wow. <laughs> Oh, Not they look so yet. pretty. Look yeah, at the yeah. colors, man. Yeah. Okay, like this one, what does it mean that, like the, the birds and the ozone? Yeah, you know? it's a nice sun. Not yet. Nature has all the answers. Oh, okay. Oh, that's definitely the dopest board I've ever seen, man. <laughs> so this is where we make the, the bladders. All the valves are stuck to the bladder material with using an ultrasonic welding machine. It's a, a technique that heats up the molecules of the valve and the bladder material, and then they're, they're welded together, so it's not, they're not stuck on. And they actually pump up every kite here and leave them inflated for how many hours? Well, we leave them overnight. Uh, so once the bladders are inside the kites, they're, they're pumped up and left yeah. overnight to make sure there's no leaks for 24 hours, and then they're taken down the next day. Wow, so many kites. Yeah. This is, a, this is Kai Lenny's um, wing. We're just building for him just now. So this is a custom wing for Kai. Oh, that looks rad. Yeah. He's going to be stoked with that one. It'll be hung up here, uh, left, left for 24 hours. And then the uh, next day, we'll take it down, pack it, and ship it off to Kai. Nice, ready to fly down Jaws. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> So besides all the production kites, there's a lot of custom kites in here as well? Yeah, absolutely. We produce uh, plenty of custom kites for lots of different brands. Ew. These uh, go through the same system as our production system. And this one is for, this one's for Woo. Nice. For, uh, this goes extra high. This one goes massive. <laughs> nice. Anybody can have this. This is, not, this is one of our uh, USPs in the factory that anybody can order. Because it's so flexible, our manufacturing system, this just goes into the same production line as the normal kites. It's all handmade. And the nice thing about the cut-ins, instead of just printing on it, the nice thing about the cut-in is that when the sun shines behind it, the thing just it shines in the sky. And it doesn't look like a shadow. They all, all the colors really pop out. Yeah, nice, so yeah. it's beautiful. It's great advertising. A good day at Powerpex. Are we hired? We're hired. <laughs> yes. <What's up>? Yeah. <laughs> so at this floor, you're an inspector, a very important role. But what are some of the things that you're looking out for specifically? Những mà đúng hàng, đúng màu, hàng in không bị chày, 
à, phi đúng vị trí à, dây bao dây đôi băng đúng dấu bát đúng dấu hàng thân không à, bị cầm à, vải không bị lỗi không à, lũng rách à, dây không bị à, xoắn chéo đúng độ dài của dây just what I thought nice work nothing is mass produced. You won't find large, wasteful warehouses of pre-made ozone products anywhere in the world that need to be pushed to market. Instead, everything is made to order with the aim of delivering to shops and distributors 15 to 30 days from the moment of purchase on ozone's unique ordering system. And that includes all of the custom options too. The latest technology is married with traditional methods throughout a product's journey as it comes together in the factory. And it's not just about the robots taking over the work as the workforce continues to expand year on year. Whoa, how many lasers can you have? Now we have 35 lasers in the factory. Wow, yeah, it's so it's many rooms. It's amazing, all cutting uh, one layer at a time. One so it's very, very accurate. Wow, this table is absolutely massive. Yeah, it's a 10 meter table, um, wow. 35 of these machines, um, all cutting, uh, in this case, they're cutting the internals of a paraglider. Oh yeah, it looks so many small little pieces so close together. Absolutely, I mean, one of the, the reasons for uh, using lasers is to make the whole process more efficient. So we try and nest the, the pieces together, not only to save on the material, but so the production is much faster. We used to cut all of our uh, products by hand. No way. Yeah. All and these? All these holes used to be cut by hand, oh. which was a very laborious job. And also it, was, it limited the design team on the accuracy that they could uh, design their products. So now we've got tiny little holes, strange shaped holes, which are all performance um, orientated, which gives yeah, our, our design team the ability to do way more. Wicked, man. I can't imagine that I've been walking around this factory for the whole day and I didn't feel a single thing under my feet. Like cleaning must be a big part of their process. Yeah, cleaning is a huge part of the process. I mean, for a sewing factory, there's not a single thread on the floor. It's quite, quite incredible. We keep cleaning things. <laughs> so what are we looking at uh, with this machine? This is a, an automatic sewing machine that will sew patterns, like very, very complex patterns that, we, that our designers can send to the factory. Uh, this, this specific product it's called the F-Lite Harness, so it weighs under 100 grams. No oh, way. Paragliding harness, falls down to nothing. And as you can see, it's wildly complex in, in terms of stitching. We can make harnesses like this, massive paragliding harnesses, and also we make all of our kite surfing harnesses here too. The strongest and the most aerodynamic way to make a loop in a line is by splicing it. And there, there, there's the thickness you know, of, of a thread. Thickness? They're so thin. The thickness is yes, wow. absolutely tiny. Using thread is an art form here, and nowhere is this more evident than when splicing very fine bridle lines for race kites and paragliders. Workplace comfort is a priority. As well as each factory being air conditioned, another example are these homemade chimneys that extract the tiny plumes of smoke each time a thread is sealed. Ozone has a super rich history in paragliding, with its founders coming from a deep involvement in the sport back in the early 1980s. Ozone itself was founded in 1998 and has since been instrumental in contributing to paragliding's development, placing a strong emphasis on safety and reliable equipment to ensure the future of the sport and its pilots. Essentially, these men and women know how to create gear that allows you to send it with confidence. Well, I've never seen so much material, man. I yeah. never knew this goes into making a paraglider or a foil kite. Well, we saw the material store earlier, and everything comes from these very basic rolls of material. It ends up in amazing shapes and great performance, and at the end of the day, great fun. Lots of safety for our customers, and yeah. So many holes in precision work, man. It's mind-blowing. Yeah, it's mind-blowing, isn't it? <laughs> Let's look at the final product. Absolutely. You can see a Messer Sky Crew paraglider up there. Yeah. This is... Wow, this is massive. Yeah. Amazing custom in the detail and the logo. 
we build the powder pet like a family, and every year we have um, we have the holiday for all all of us. Uh, like last year, we went to the beach in the middle of Vietnam. Everyone loved that. It's good food, good fun, good game. A thousand people. It's like you need like 20 birds, big one. Go number one, two, three, four, five. Go. Very nice. So that was it for the Ozone Factory tour here in Vietnam. Thanks for watching. I cannot believe what I've seen, what I've learned. I hope you enjoyed it as well. Han, thank you very much. Hang apply. Ciao.